Welcome back to Carmsden Farm for episode 11 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's getting on for four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Disaster struck. Uh, I have spent ages. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I turned the time down from times two to half speed. Just to try and keep on top of what was going on. Disaster hasn't struck with the quarry. I'm having an absolute blast over here. The quarry, I mean, it's, it's not um, smooth. But I've gradually kind of been taking stuff out and we've got a, a track, so to speak, round the outskirts here. And it kind of sweeps round into the bottom here and we can get stuff in and out, no problem at all. I managed to back out. I'm also managing to go straight out of here. This little JCB is brilliant, full one there. by Ross N. Mods. It's, even with a full bucket, it just gets out of there, climbs out, no problem. That's not where the problem occurred. <laughs> the problem occurred. Um, so I spent ages and I filled up the um, stone crusher line production to 200 and something thousand litres, whatever the capacity was, 200 and something thousand litres. And then, over the last 24 hours, all sorts of things have happened. I was messaged by the guys on my Discord server. If you haven't watched the video yet, there's a video up about it um, regarding setting up a multiplayer server. And they wanted to do one through the Discord um, community. And was I still interested in doing a multiplayer server on my channel? So I said, yep, absolutely. I still have every intention. I'd gone on to Natrado. I had set up an account. I had kind of had a fiddle around with the custom settings and I had put some money into the account ready to set up a server. So I gave those guys carte blanche and said, Look, here's the login, crack on now, you know, set it all up. So they have <laughs> and did. Um, so I did a video, I went on, once they'd set it all up, they gave me the, all the password details, I said, right, crack on, have a look, see what you think. Um, but here's where the problem occurred. As part of the setup for that, if you're aware, I wasn't overly aware, but the multiplayer server situation, now on FS22, if you go on to play on a multiplayer server, especially crossplay, and you're missing mods, whereas previously you had to go out and download, find each mod, now it gives you the list of mods you haven't got, click on it, and it will download all of them for you. Um, but the Stone Crusher line production, they'd used as a mod on, um, on the map, the old stream farm. And. Um, <laughs> 
I haven't updated it. I didn't update it, did I? Because I wanted the process to still be the same. However, the process wasn't working properly. It was supposed to be a one to four ratio before the update. And the last, when I filled it up or put some in anyway, it processed a one to four ratio and I had 38,000 litres of lime to sell. Now the price is sitting at around 2,500, dropping a little bit, 25. Even if you take an average, but there's no other sell point, and then 70% of the average, even if you dropped it right down and said, okay, I'll get a grand for a thousand litres, that's 38, 39,000. I got 16,000 when it went over the hour. I couldn't figure out why, what was going on. Anyway, so what then happened was, in my excitement to get onto the multiplayer server, I updated the mod, didn't I? Didn't even think about my Let's Play on here. So the mod's now updated, and if we go into the menu here, and we go to one of our limes, I've put a second one in, you'll see now the cycles per month 480, but the processing now, rather than 1,000 in to 4,000 now, is 2,000 in, plus water in, and then 4,500 out. So it's not as good a ratio, plus... What was quite scary was the stones I'd put in, 200 and whatever thousand litres. It only takes 150,000 now. So the one I'd put in, I lost 60, 70,000 litres of stone. So I'd spent ages quarrying out. Went. The processing speed's really good. As you can see, it's going really well. So I decided, you know what I'm going to do? Off camera, I'm going to put a second one in to compensate for the fact I've lost a load um, in the process. So I put a second one in loaded them both up, went and got the water, which you've just seen me delivering some water. Water was all put in. This is going to get through these stones at a colossal rate. That said, the payment situation seems to have worked itself out because I'm sure I was on 371, I think, before. Um, that may not be, I've been selling some sugar, I've been, you know, the bits and bobs I've been selling. It went from 371 to 413, which is more like it was in Elm Creek. So I'm wondering whether it just needed to do an update for it to work properly. It's so frustrating, but I just wasn't anything to do about it. It is what it is. So I've now got two stone crushers here. And looking at the speed they're processing, this could be just a constant, a constant cycle of doing this. But I will do it every now and again. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it hasn't gone swimmingly, smoothly at all. But as you can see, this is still going like the clappers. I've sold a load and now I've got another three. It still fascinates me how some of the production chains are very slow and some are rocket ship fast. Uh, while I'm talking about this as well on here, I was intending to skip through to the next day. We were going to be in December, first part of December, see where we're all at with all of our pallets, do some honey delivery, bread back, you know, do a whole lot of stuff like that. Um, but then obviously I had the rock problem, so um, it was an issue. Now, as far as productions go, I'm not sure when we're going to get it. And watching the video, Omatana seemed to think it could be, once it's submitted, maybe, because the amount of mods that are being submitted it could be a month. Um, before it comes but she's doing a new production pack with all new productions and all new recipes there's things like ice cream oat milk oatmeal um, soy milk oh, what else was on there tomato sauce like tomato ketchup um, mixed salad whole load of stuff um, I put a link to the video on my Facebook I think I linked it onto there sure I did um, it looks astounding so yeah that's where we're at it's nearly four o'clock in the evening I'm concerned I'm trying to think if I've done any contracting I think I have since I did the update on the map I didn't do a new save game but I did do the update because of those two contracts for sewing have just sat there and I've had nothing else come up at all I normally get some fertilising or something pops up, but I've had nothing at all. And I can't think that all of the fields are done 
I mean, that feels to net to the right of me. Certainly needs harvesting, but I, nothing's come up. So I don't. We'll see. We'll get into into December now. Bear in mind, I haven't got seasonal growth on on this Let's Play, so they'll run through their cycles, and I might be harvesting stuff in December, which I know, you know, like it was in Elm Creek, isn't you know, correct, but it is what it is. So I'm I'm thinking what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another full load of like 30,000 liters put that into the other one and then I'm going to stop on the stone quarry for the time being hopefully by the start of December if they process the way they are processing we're going to have a load of money which means we'll be able to look at the next I've gone too far the next processing plants I'm going to put the dairy in somewhere and I'm thinking of the tailors because if we're producing fabric at the spinnery we're going to need somewhere to sell it I think the supermarket the supermarket one of the sell points buys clothes but obviously we need the tailor to take the fabric to to make clothes in the first place so yeah off. that's where we're at that's what's happened that's that's how i'm feeling about things uh it's okay it's just taking a bit of time to kind of reset everything but what are you gonna do okay The problem with rocks, like I said, the last one, they're heavy. It's all very heavy, man. I'll see you start of December, and let's see where we're at. This is the last I'm going to talk about the rocks for a while and the quarry in case you're sick of it. Um, I have to bring more water up. We went from, well we're in December, start of December and it looks like we're going to get some snow later on. Hooray! Um, as you've already seen, the two um, sewing contracts that were available I have done, which has raised another problem uh, that I've now got nothing, no contracts available. I hope that changes because we I'm going to be in trouble if not I'm going to find I have to find some serious alternatives um, as far as the sugar production goes I've just moved all the stuff that was there and look how much we've got again <laughs> awesome um, and I have put the forklift truck on the flatbed with the John Deere that's heading over to the farm and we're going to load up honey, take that over. Actually, no, I don't know where, where was the best price for honey. It was the garden centre, but I'm pretty sure that changed. So, maybe we want to get the most we can for our oh, eggs as well. We need to check on the eggs because we might need to take those over. So we'll drive over there because we can take those and give them to the bakery. Uh, the other thing as well, I said we'll probably put, probably put the dairy in because we're making good money on the, on the rocks now. Um... I've gone past honey. Oh, there is. Um, yeah, best price one eight three eight and dropping at Cotswolds Store Farmers Market. That's behind here, isn't it? That's over there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a bit of delivery. Uh, then probably put the dairy in. Uh, the cows. I think we're up to about three thousand liters of milk. Not a huge amount. Oh, there's a toy on the roof up there. How did I miss that? Problem is, I think all the ones I've been picking up as I've been going around and doing contracts and jobs I'm at that point now where a few of them I think there's just one left and the problem is you don't know until you click on it because I can't remember what ones I've found and which ones I haven't and as soon as you click on it if it's the last one you get given a hundred thousand scratch card time lottery win um, but then I suppose that does it does go some way towards the mistakes I've made <laughs> have been making and also paying for the various different um, production change buildings and things like that so anyway I'm going to take this back tanker I don't need the water so I'm trying to think where else I need water for I don't really but uh, yeah the reason I'm putting water in sorry I meant to say that was the whole point of saying of this little bit here was it processed I was up to 559 grand um, between late November and early December um, but my lime um, production I'd only used half the stones. I was at about 78, 79,000 litres of stones, but had run out of water. Um, so what I've done is spent, I've done three or four trips backwards and forwards 
for water, refilled the water, so now it'll carry on processing the stone. And that's on both of my lime productions I've got there now. So that'll carry on chucking out money over the rest of today and maybe into tomorrow. So yeah, we should be looking at very, very good financially for a little while. Which is going to be jolly handy. I'll see you in a moment. Uh, let's get the forklift up. Let's get the honey loaded. Uh, we'll go and check on the egg situation. Maybe we'll get some of that loaded. And we'll go and drop a few things off here and there. I'm thinking now we're into winter. If we do start getting a bit of snow um, and I've got no contracts available. I was hoping, really hoping. I'm, I'm seriously considering actually Ho Belleron as well. Mm. That sugar beet wash plant. I want to do a load of sugar beet. I've mentioned this, haven't I? Because I want to use that wash plant. I was hoping a contract would come up. Um, but anyway, we'll see. I'll find something to do. So I'm thinking, yeah, we might do a bit of forestry since we're into winter. And a lot of the winter I might skip through because if there's nothing else I can do, my processes will continue. All the stuff that's there. Um, the cows will continue to produce their milk. I'll just keep them topped up keep this bedding and stuff the thing I've noticed because I haven't really done a lot of animals livestock um, and again this is gonna be one of those yeah do you know really um, no mess the animals aren't making any mess at all the sheep haven't in all time I've had those the cows haven't yet and we've been through a month um, yeah no mess on the ground to clean up which is weird anyway see you in a bit Still loving this John Deere. Love it. I know there's loads of tractors that all do the same thing, but <laughs> love the sound of it. Oh, yes, something as well. The uh, porch lean to roof things. I put a couple, I was going to put the trailer back against the side of the. Back against the side of the building. Just didn't go wide enough. I That's better. Um, but I had this weird thing, I don't know if it was the landscape, because it always used to work off of it, just attached to the building. But when I placed these, look what it did to the ground, it kind of took the texture away, so I don't know if they're linked. But the weird thing is as well, that one went in at an angle that way, that one went in at an angle that way, but seemed steeper, and it sat lower. Uh, anyway, they kind of overlap, it, it works in a way, but anyway, that's just a cover for the... No name. That's is that who they're by? I'm sure, it's no name. Um, so here we are. We're we're up here. Um, let's do that with our forklift. Um, trying to think, the best thing to do is going to be to go around this side because where most of the honey is. Now we're going to check on the eggs situation. All of our crops are growing. I've got none of none of my fields are ready to harvest yet, um, but that's fine as well. Oh, we'll stop there. Let's put the ramps down. And I will disconnect because it puts those down and it just. Uh, I'm going to forget, I know I am. Um, but it just puts the ramps completely flat because it pushes the landing gear down. I think we can do it manually actually. But anyway, oh, I don't know what I didn't do. Didn't do the straps. There we go. Right, let's hop in. take the honey back to Cotswold so it's a bit of backwards and forwards and this is a big element and one of the things that's changed um, quite a lot on um, between 19 and 22 I know we had the factories and the production chains that kind of thing um, or productions not production chains um, the amount of transport and delivery that, that's now being done and it's not a bad thing I like it if you go back to 15 and 17 if you think back on FS15, when you produced milk and at midnight the milk sold. On console, we couldn't deliver milk. There was no dairy, there was nowhere to take it. So when we got the ability then that you, you had tankers and you could transport milk, that was amazing. The same with the contract work. If you remember the contract work, um, where you would have a contract and it was, you know, if it was harvest, it was just harvest. And you reached a point where you'd done enough of the field and it was contract complete. You know, you would often get a trailer or something, you had to kind of empty the harvester. Um, but on the earlier ones, before even that, 
the harvester when you did a harvesting contract just seemed to have an unlimited capacity so you would just carry on doing the harvest until you reached the point where you were harvest complete there was no delivery of the crop you didn't take it anywhere so that evolution forward of then the harvest contracts being that not only did you get the harvesting equipment you got the stuff for transporting it to a sell point where it had to be delivered now with the production chains we've got you know all of the pallets now that are, that are coming off the production chains that need to be different and that's kind of part and parcel unless you've got a transport haulage company to do it for you um this is this is part and parcel of the job and also when you get into a point in the year where like it's winter or whatever and there's not really as much to do anyway i know watching cold the corn star and a lot of the guys you know once they've got the harvest done they get through the winter and normally in the start of spring, sometimes in winter, they've got their contracts to start delivering their, their products, their crops. And, um... Oh, there were two there. Oh. That's not that. It's not neat. It'll do. And the other thing I was going to say was, yesterday, you know when I spoke earlier on in this video about um, multiplayer server, I went on, because, you know, it's that kind of, it's my server, isn't it? I mean, the guys have set it up for me, and it's all good, and I thought, I can't, on the day that it's gone live, not go on, you know, it, it's, it was Sunday, and I, I honestly thought they were going to make it live on Monday, I didn't realise they were going to do it Sunday, but it was brilliant fun, it was great, the guys on there were, were fantastic, and I know a lot of people have been on, there are a few issues, some people are struggling to get on um, and um, Heavy Metal Gaming that's going to be running, sort of checking the server for me, keeping an eye on it, has contacted, contacted Natrado because for some reason some people are struggling to get onto it and I don't know why. Uh, we can't kind of figure it out, we were trying to think about what could be causing it. Um, if you are trying to get onto the server at all, um, there's also a situation I kind of mentioned with regards to exactly the lift that. Um, with regard to updating mods and if you've got um, certain mods that need updating even if you click on the thing to install mods if you've got mods that need updating it won't do anything with them you can't um, it won't let you access the server until you've updated certain mods and I found when I had to do that I had to come out of the multiplayer situ situation go into the mods update them but then I had to come out of the game, come back into the game and update them again. Because every time I clicked an update and it did it, I went onto the multiplayer server and it said they hadn't updated. So I had to come out of the game and come back in. It could be something along those lines. If you've been on and you're having trouble, it could be that. Um, I am kind of, I mean, I'm no expert and I'm kind of clutching at straws on that. But that's just something I experienced personally. So it may be that, but I, it was brilliant fun. I had a great time on there. Um, and it is supposed to just be a bit of fun. I know... Um, it's that thing if you're going to run a multiplayer server just for you and a group of friends you know it might be like five or six of you or however many and you go on regularly and you're going to run a farm and you know one of you's the farm manager foreman whatever you want to call it and you can kind of run it i was talking to baron papa about this yesterday and um that can work brilliantly as, as a bit of fun play that kind of thing that's awesome doing a public multiplayer server is a bit different it's a bit different because there's a lot less control um, and people can kind of do what they want to some degree. Um, it's a lot more chaotic, unless you've got someone on there all the time who acts as the kind of farm manager. I think naturally people kind of take the lead a little bit on that. I really do. I think people will kind of assume that role, as long as people don't get narky or umpy about it or, you know, do that kind of, all oh, don't tell me what to do kind of thing. But... Um, I, I would like to think that the people that are going on and playing are, are more, um, not sensible is the wrong word, but you know what I mean, it's, it, I, I'm sure it will all be fine. But yeah, check it out if you're interested. Um, on the, you have to join the Discord, there is a link in the description, a lot of people kept asking me yesterday, how do I join your Discord, there is a link in the description, and I think on my channel page, I updated my YouTube channel page, so I think there's a link there to my Discord as well. Um, join the Discord and the information for the login on the server. They've got a separate um, 
bit on the Discord server now for the dedicated multiplayer. Um, check it out. Simply think. It may not be for you, and if it's not, that's fine. It may be just what you've been looking to do. Right, and I've got some more over by the beehives. Right, uh, what I did as well, I forgot to say as well, off camera, um, one of the contracts I did in November, I said I was going to do it, didn't I? If I had ones that paid out around 20 grand, I was going to get another beehive. So I've got another beehive um, to also promote a bit more production on the, on the honey. So we have got more beehives. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute when these are loaded, then we'll go and check on the eggs, because I've seen them. I've finally got them all on. We're going to make some honey money. I don't mind how many eggs we've got, whatever we've got I'll take. Uh, I think we might also have a full pallet of wool. So if we're going to go over to Cotswold stores, we might as well take the wool pallet, if we've got one. Yeah, it looks like there's one over there, to give to the spinnery. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. You watch it work now and we get 100,000. <laughs> this one here, I know there was the update for the map and a few of the collectibles that you couldn't get to were changed. This one, I can't get to it. I've tried coming at it from all different angles. I found it. They're all oh, brilliant collectible. No. I, every time I go near it, it puts me up and over and I can't get... I pre keep pressing L3. I can't... just can't get it. I don't know if anyone else has experienced the same problem there. On a slight sidebar. So, uh, yeah, weird. On the way out, yeah, we'll grab the wall pallet because there's another gate there, so we'll be able to go with the forklift and we'll grab that. Like I said before, I'm glad I went for the sort of more knobbly tyres. Oh, I've still got that wood that I need to clear from the meadow. There is another secret meadow. Um, but I can't work out how to get to it. I'm going to have to remove some more trees. Um, and the forestry situation as well. It's one of the first times I've been on a map where I haven't had to... Um, where I haven't had to... Oh, no, we have got four pallets. Oh, brilliant. Um, and that's, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go up to the map. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, if you go onto New Farmer and you've got all the periphery, um, which can now be sold, bought and sold, I think, for zero, isn't it? I'm sure they put it on uh, that. Yeah. So you can buy and sell it. So you start with it. So this section up here, where the track runs through, there's a track that runs up into here. So this forest here, this forestry, you can do. You, any forestry in there you can do. Because on New Farmer, you start with it. Or you can get it for nothing. This one has kind of got trees all the way around the outside of it. And very much like this field here, on this field here, in between all those trees, there's another field, like another meadow. But you can't access it easily. This one was a little bit easier to get into. That one's not. So I might have to have a look at that, because that's potentially some uh, some ground we could be using, utilising. Just looking and see if I can get my uh, forklift in there. Potentially. Uh, some instruction there. Uh, it's a pity the egg ones you can't. Um, do you know what I'm gonna do? Might be a little bit easier. I don't think the one over over at the uh, the smaller pen's gonna be ready. But all of my chickens have reach the reproduction state where they've reproduced so we have got double flocks now of our chickens if i move that over and i'll put that back in its space i thought it was going to appear next to it not in front of it that's weird 
don't really want to put these on top of each other either, but I suppose I could do them. I guess it's how you would stack them in the real world. See, this something. I'm not really enjoying all this. I think it's brilliant. All of our hard work, you know, the money we're making from the rocks, it took ages. It took such a long time. Loading all the trailers up and getting it all done. But we're reaping the benefit of that now. You know, it's, it's always been the case. Any of the maps I've done where there's been, you know, either large contracts or contracts I've given myself to do, you know, where I've done whole fields of, you know, silage work or forage harvester work or and it takes hours but then at the end of it you, you get a nice big payout it's worth the time put in because you know what i say it's worth it. it depends how you view it you know if there's a way of making money quicker <laughs> then absolutely <laughs> work smart not hard so what we should be able to do hopefully i stick that back in there that should continue there we go that's better isn't it that should continue to fill. He says. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Wheel spin. Let's check this one. I don't think it'll be full because this one, like I say, this one's got less in. Uh, no, not full. Well, I'll have another one over here. So at least we'll get some eggs up there to the bakery. I wonder actually whether or not. If I just automatically, rather than push it to one side, if I, um, if I put it next to it, slope, there we go. If I put it in here next to it, will that work? Only time will tell. Awesome. Right, I won't put you through the having to see the... I'm just really pleased we've got so many eggs. It was well worth putting in all the extra egg... Um, egg pens? <laughs> chicken runs? Chicken pens? <laughs> Those are free-range eggs running around. Uh, they're not really free-range either, are they? And, um, yeah, because we, we, you know, we're, getting, we're getting what we need. Like I said, lessons learnt on Elm Creek was to go bigger, get more animals, more livestock, you know, double up on productions, whatever it needs to be. It's all that learning curve of, of you know, trying to work out how it's all going to go. Because you're not too sure when you first start. But like I say, I won't, I won't put you through having to watch me go out into a field and collect the wall pallet. We'll sit the wall pallet on, we'll whiz up to Cotswold stores, we'll get rid of the honey. Like I said, we'll make some honey money. And then, um, that just about straps down, that straps down there and there. Job done. Let's go. I mean, luckily, the sugar I can do to Aunt Emma's sell point. So I haven't got to keep loading up. And because, um, the bakery is full. We've got our 7,000 litres. All that. Oh, this does not want to turn, is it? This is what that um, that drawbar mod that came out the other day is for. Because if you look at the turning circle here on the back of here, we're off this pin. Sorry, just thought I'd throw this in there. Um, this pin here. So when you turn, this part of the trailer will come into contact with the three-point link or your tyres. So your turning radius is decreased. If you have the draw bar here, and the trailer attaches here on the draw bar, that increases your turn, increases, decreases your turn radius. Look where the tyres are now. But if it's out a little bit further, you can turn far better. Yeah, it decreases the radius, not increases it. It decreases your turn radius dramatically. I think unfortunately when I did the mod review I did that kind of thing where I kind of assumed people understood what a drawbar did or was for. The one we had before very clearly stated um, that it was designed for smaller tractors and stuff so you can put it under a trailer bar 
and it um, gets you better traction on a two-wheel drive tractor. That was kind of what that one was all about. Collection delivery. That's what we're all about. At least for the time being. And that's because of the time of year, lack of contracts, half crops not ready to harvest yet, all that kind of stuff. It was also suggested on the multiplayer server that Jeremy should um, be moved over to the multiplayer server. <laughs> he seems very happy here at the moment. Um, generally speaking, I don't move him to every Let's Play I do, but it's an idea we could do. We could definitely move Jeremy over. It's not going to be much longer, I think, next month, and we'll double our flock as well. So um, that'll be quite impressive. We should then get a much higher rate of wool production too. You know, it dawned on me suddenly, and I'm glad it dawned on me, um, was the fact I've got all the honey and the eggs directly behind the honey. I was going to go over to Cotswold stores first, and then suddenly dawned on me, hang on a minute, does Cotswold stores buy eggs? If I'd have gone over there, that all those eggs I've produced to go to the bakery would have sold automatically over the sell point. So I've decided to go to the bakery first, we'll offload the eggs. I'm thinking of putting the dairy in over this side because we've got a load of stuff going on. We've got a whole kind of factory complex going on over towards Cotswold stores. We've got our um, bakery over here and our grain mill. So I thought we'll put the dairy over here as well. So I think while we're over here, now this is the bit I was talking about. I'll show you while we're up here. So this, all this plot of land here that's kind of owned as part of the periphery. This side we can get into and there's some forestry. Not a huge amount, but there are some trees we can take down, some trees we can sell. Um, we could do a bit of landscaping or we could even plant some more. We could come in and do a bit of replanting, which I think we might do. Might be nice over the winter to do that. This is the other side and there's not really, because there's a hedge all the way round. You know, kind of like a bit of a bat cave thing. We'd have to go through the hedge take out a couple of trees here and there but all of this is in here if you were unaware you might have just been driving past all the time um, we could try I mean I've tried with some of the hedges to landscape and put um, something over them it doesn't always work but yeah there's all this all this space in here as well because I thought originally I thought oh you know what putting the dairy in here would be quite cool but trying to get into it to do it because I thought it might be a nice location something a bit different it's a bit flat here but I, I just don't think that's going to work um, I suppose we could take a couple of trees out it's just these hedges oh no snow we got snow I'm interested to see what's going to happen on the map with snow I know when the map first came out there was all the information about what happened and we had that stuff with the flooding which was brilliant. So I'm assuming we're going to get some frozen stuff. There's probably going to be some snowmen and bits and bobs that pop up. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if this snow is going to settle. It did say it was going to snow through December, January and February. I suppose something to do would be to actually check the weather forecast, wouldn't it? Um, what are we looking at? December 9, 10, 11, 12, 1... <laughs> yeah, it's snowing through till 5 o'clock. Then the temperatures have come right back up again. That's weird. snow in December, 4 degrees which is, I mean, 3, 2, fair enough, but then 9, all of a sudden it's going to jump up at 5pm when it's going to start to get dark and you think the weather will be getting colder it's going to jump up to 9 degrees curious anyway, the kind of purpose of this was the honey money so, again, I don't time get these eggs offloaded quickly and we'll get over there um, I do need to come back as well because I think we've now got two pallets of lettuce at each one that's brilliant still got a ton of strawberries sitting there and we've got sugar left over that we didn't fill up with loads the other thing I'm going to do as well which I realise I can do if I'm going to put the dairy up here like I said which I might is um, the removal of fences and hedges if you want to put gaps and that kind of thing because the problem we had was 
turning here was alright, but I couldn't turn. I've gone too tight on this corner. So we need to do a little bit of landscaping. So I go into the uh, build mode now and go across to demolish, and we can take out. There we go. So what I'll do now is um, just adjust it slightly. Um, and we'll, we'll come around a little bit. The problem is, as you can see, I'm at the edge here. Whilst I can place things, and I can drive right over towards that hedge over there, this is the boundary of where I can landscape. So I can't actually put anything further around from there. But it does mean I can get around there a bit easier now without the hedge in the way. And I'll probably do the same on the other side. If I put the dairy out there, we'll have the road going out a little bit further around. But we do have some bread. That's cool. It's right next to it. I couldn't remember. Maybe I should re-entitle this one forklifting. No. No. Yes. That kind of should do. Only just about on there. Don't drop them. How's that looking at the bakery for eggs? Oh, we've barely scratched the surface, but we have got some in there then. So yes, yeah, milk and butter. So it's dairy next. We've just got to rely on the cows now to uh, keep doing their thing. We'll get there. All to produce cake. And it'll be that kind of, I'll do it and go, oh, okay. Should pay out quite nicely. I think we'll do quite well, hopefully from the fabric. Again, we'll go through as best we can. And there'll be more eggs to come as well. Excellent. Over here then. Let's grab that bread. And take that. Find the best. I, mean, I turned the productions off because I wanted to keep it for doing... Um, if I was just doing bread, I wouldn't have to worry about all the other stuff. Um, but I wanted to keep it for uh, doing the cake stuff. So I thought I wanted to do some bread. We have got a pallet here to be distributed. Um, or, well, no, we're going to sell it ourselves. But I, um, I need to work out where... I'm going to move all those lettuce boxes, so um, I will see you in a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, we need to change this. This is forklifting, isn't it? This is becoming an incredibly useful tool. Far more relevant than I think they ever used to be. Oh yeah, dairy. Before I forget, uh, let's go on to there. Go to production. I'm going to go for... Which one do I want to do? That one? They're all so big, aren't they? Millmond Dairy. If we put it that side... We can't you see, oh no, we'll swing it around so we can see at the front. 
That's I don't know, because I like I like seeing the sign. <laughs> it's a dilemma, isn't it? And I can extend the uh, the little roadway out if I adjust the hedge. Yeah, you know what? We're going to put it here. Boom. Now we go up to there, go across to that. We take out the hedges here and here. That one just there. And then we can go to decorate, not decoration, landscaping, painting. What did I use? Was it asphalt? I think it might be asphalt. Yeah. There we go then. Put some hedges around that. Might have adjust the slope on that, I think, a little bit. There we go, we finally got it in. Oh yeah, look at that. If I change that, do that across at an angle. And it will only let me go to there. That's what I have to do. Um, right, so then we need to go to... That over there. Sculpting. Uh, we want soften. Hopefully this will soften this out. Please work. a little bit there. That's better. And then again this will only let me go to there. Maybe this wasn't the best place to place it. It'd be alright. It's in. I'll do the rest later on. Wow, it's all coming on, isn't it? Farm dog absolutely agrees. We are now delivering frozen produce. <laughs> Flash frozen in the fields for better freshness. Um, I've really got a lot of choice. Now, this is risky. I say it's risky. Um, oh, that wall, that cotton bale is still there. Um, I was going to say, if we go across the spinnery, the spinnery should only take the wool panel. If we then go to Aunt Emma's, I bought all the lettuce with me, I meant to say that. Aunt Emma's should take the lettuce and the bread. The price is a very good Aunt Emma's. But Aunt Emma's doesn't take honey. So that should stay there. Then that will go to Cotswolds Farmer's Market, I think. Is that right? I think so. If we go to honey... Yeah, Aunt Emma's isn't showing up there. And Cotswold Store Farmer's Market is... Which one is it? The one around the back. Or say around the back, down the side. The one that has all the pallets and stuff. I don't want to use that. So, the problem is I have the problem I had last time. <laughs> this being in the way. And I tried to roll it out of the way and it didn't really work. Just wondering whether I can get close enough that the bale, the wall will just go. I'm not trying to get there. We go. Right, wall's gone. I don't want to take that. Let's try forward. Lettuce is not accepted here. Nope, that's good. Uh, straps back on. So now we go around and we should 
The bread price and the lettuce price is very good at Aunt Emma's, so that should go up now. And the honey shouldn't go. But everything else should. Tell me what. How much do we make off all that? 12,630 for lettuce and bread. Uh, and then honey will go around to Cotswolds. And we have delivered all of our frozen foods. That's not, it wasn't my intention this episode was, I'm just going to start forestry, but we can do that later, that's not a problem. I honestly didn't realise how much lettuce we had on hand, and the price of it at Aunt Emma's is very good. We've got a little bit more wool delivered to the spinnery, so that's got more. Um, I'm now curious to see. Uh, oh, sugar. Never mind. Right, so we'll head round to here, and we'll get rid of the honey. And I think that'll be it for this episode. I think next episode, yeah, we'll do some forestry. I don't know whether to whether to do. You know what? I might not. I might just bypass it. bypass it. There are some sawmills knocking around, aren't they? Fairly cheaply. I'm wondering whether or not to do planks and carpentry. It's, a, it's more processes to do, isn't it? If we're going to do forestry, I could just take it to sawmill, sell it, and get the money for the wood. Um, hmm. We could lease something a little bit bigger this time. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe something a little bit quicker to cut down the trees. Um, we've got our uh, telehandler, so that won't be a problem if I get myself a log grapple or a mule fork or whatever I'm used to using. So we want the cell point over the back here and we'll sell all the honey Let's see what we make of this there we go 8098 I suppose each pallet's not got as much on it as you'd think but we've done alright we made about 20, 20 plus grand didn't we 20 grand on selling all that stuff the greenhouses have still got loads of water, so they're just going to carry on chugging away. The beehives are going to carry on with the honey. They're, they're in place. They're, I haven't got to do anything to them. They just keep going. Oh, hang on. Straps back on for the forklift. Uh, forklift, I will now drop off back here so I can move sugar pallets. I might take some more sugar and sell the sugar. Um, Aunt Emma's was a good price, but I will double check that. Still no contracts popped up, but... Fingers crossed. I don't know if this snow is going to settle or not. Maybe. I was thinking with the money we've got available, whether or not to do a field flip. I know it's not the done thing, but the fact I'm not getting any contracts coming up. Field 25 here is well, how much? Oh, no, I haven't got enough. <laughs> 772 grand. I was going to say, if we bought it, harvested it, because uh, if we do that and then go across to growth, it's ready to harvest. That's like the potatoes in field 14, which I don't really want to do. Um, field 19. I haven't had anything come up for field 19, that side of the road. Um, that's cultivated. I would, I would have assumed it needed fertilising and, and um, planting. 17 I've done work on. 18 I have. 16 I did. I think I did sowing on that. 29 I haven't touched. That's a massive grass field. I was, that was one of the ones I was kind of hoping. Because I did field 7. I did field 22. Yeah, and we got all those silage bales. I thought if field 29 came up, look at the size of it. Yes, it would take ages, but can you imagine how many bales you'd have left over? That would be absolutely incredible. Um, right, I think what we'll do... It's not important going away. Let's do straps. Oh, well, no. <laughs> Forward first. Then do it. My new favourite toy at the moment. I never thought I'd say that. Like I said before, with the um, CSZ pack on FS19 and the big bag handler that had the straps, that was just my go-to piece of equipment. 
this now. I'm getting a little bit better with all this, and I'm really enjoying it. That's not to say the CSZ pack won't come out, and if it does, will I use it? Probably. Keep that to yourself. Um, let's just double check the price on this, and that's probably where I'm going to leave you. Uh, sugar. Aunt Emma's is still the best price. It is falling, but it's still the best price. 1094 so let's stick that in. Now well, these were quite heavy, as I recall, weren't they? They wouldn't let me pick more than that up. No. take them all. Go over another 10 grand with it. Right, so I'll see you on the next one. We'll see if the snow's settled. We'll have a look at doing some, yeah, we'll look at doing some forestry. I don't know whether on, whoa, did that just slide? What just happened there? That was bonkers. Yeah, we'll look at some forestry stuff. Maybe at least something a bit bigger, because all the forestry I've done up to this point, I've done using a chainsaw and, and sort of measuring myself. If we've got something that we can set to a cut length, we'll do that. We'll get a load of stuff piled up, maybe take it to the sawmill, because we could do a bit of a double whammy there, couldn't we? A bit of a dodgy. We'll take all the lumber up to the sawmill, sell it all to the sawmill, make the money, then we'll buy the sawmill. Then we'll have a load of lumber already there, which will produce planks. Oh yeah! Nefariosity killed the cat. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>